Hi, I'm David Krevit from Coding is for Losers, and this is news to me. If you're not familiar, Google Data Studio is a free dashboarding tool that's beloved by marketers everywhere. Since its release in 2017, it's become the de facto replacement, at least on our team, for the Google Analytics and Search Console uh, dashboards themselves, because it has a much slicker drag and drop reporting interface that neither GA or Search Console necessarily has itself. Today we'll be sharing five new features from Google Data Studio that we've been using a lot on our team and we think you'll love. The first update we've been using is called Apply Filter on Click. If you create a table or chart and select Apply Filter under Interactions, when you click a row in a table or chart, it will filter the rest of your page for just that slice that you selected. The second new feature that we're using is the Charts Drill Down feature, which we're really loving. It gives you the ability to drill down between dimensions on a chart or table. With drill downs, you can put, you know, say, the URL as the top level, put keyword as a drill down beneath it, and you can click down between the levels, you know, go look at URL level first, click in to the drill down and look at keyword level. Uh, that's really helpful for keeping the number of charts and tables on your pages compact because you can pack a larger number of views into any given table or chart on your page. The third new feature we're taking advantage of is advanced date comparisons. Previously in Data Studio, they had a, a nice but limited set of date ranges that you could select from in your charts. So they had, you know, let's pull it up here, like last month, uh, this month, last year, this year, that type of thing. It was helpful, but not super fancy. Now they just added an advanced date range feature where you can select exactly when you want to start and end your date range, including, you know, days, weeks, months, quarters, years ago um, for both start and end. In our monthly SEO report template that we published as part of the Blueprint training, we use this advanced date functionality to set up rolling year windows. The fourth feature that we're using is sending PDF reports on a schedule. Some people are just old school. They prefer receiving a PDF to their inbox versus going to a web URL. That's okay. Data Studio, thankfully, now supports that. You can go to the Share menu, select Schedule Email Delivery, and send to your team that PDF report containing just the pages that you want to send. The fifth and final update that we're enjoying is the Data Studio team, I guess in combination with the BigQuery or Google Cloud team, has made viewing reports in Data Studio using BigQuery data much, much faster. You might notice this lightning bolt pop up on your charts or tables. That means that the data was loaded for you uh, by BigQuery's BI Engine service, which makes your data loads from BigQuery into your report much, much faster. We've noticed at least a 50% performance improvement from this change. By the way, if you're a marketer and you're not yet using BigQuery, to run your analysis and reporting, highly recommend you get going doing that. You can process many thousands of times the data that you can in Sheets, do it much faster, and at Coding's for Losers, we have a bunch of tutorials on how to get started with that. That's all for this month. To sum things up, we're excited about these five new Data Studio features for digital marketers. Apply filter on click. Chart drill downs. Advanced date comparison. Sharing reports on a schedule via PDF. Faster data load times. Look forward to seeing you next month on News to Me. And for lots of free goodies on Data Studio, Google Sheets, and BigQuery, check out codingisforlosers.com.